welcome back everybody to the journey this is episode 28 and uh if you remember what was said in the last episode then we're gonna advance on that little discussion that we had uh but before we do remember hit that subscribe button uh hit the little bell icon as well next to the uh sub next to it so you can be notified of when new videos get uploaded and also hit that like button if, if you enjoy the video so let's get cracking and I'll show you just who's approached me. So, since you was last here, nothing has happened. Literally nothing. As you can see, Fleetwood, last game played. We've not even advanced. Well, we've, we've, we have actually advanced two days in game. And Stoke have approached me. Now... Remember when I said they need to double my wage? Um, I'm on nine hundred pound a week. They, I want at least eighteen hundred pound a week. Anything less than that, I'm not taking it. I'm just going to walk away. So let's find out together, shall we? In three, two, one. That's a big wage increase. Two year contract on eight thousand two hundred and fifty pounds a week. I think we'll be taking that. I think we will be taking that. Oh, that's a big increase. So let's start negotiations. Two years. Uh, yeah, I don't even need to negotiate. I don't need to negotiate. Let's just finalise deal right now and get it over and done with. Finalise deal. Thank you very much. Exit talks. So before we advance, let us say goodbye to Accrington Stanley. So we'll leave the squad. It's a pretty good looking squad, is that? None of them will be coming with me. Um which is a shame. I mean, I didn't really get much chance to work with Fredrickson, to be honest. But it's fine. Uh, he, he will not be making... None of these will be making the uh, step up, I don't think. Uh, but it's a shame. I'll leave him in good good stead. The finances, they're consistently losing money. Uh, even before I got there, they were losing money. Even the projection says they're going to be two and a half million in debt by the end of this season. Um, so we'll leave it, leave them to it. Uh, I don't really think there's much else to do on this one. I mean, clubbing four, I didn't even get anywhere in there, which I'd never expected to anyway. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's about it. There's nothing else to do on this one. So let's just advance and be welcome to the club at Stoke City. Stoke City hire Bennett in a move which is sure to spark plenty of heated debate. Phil Bennett has left Accrington to join Stoke. Bennett arrives with a record of 97 wins, 34 draws and 48 defeats in his career. He also won a league title. His first game in charge will be against Norwich in the Skybet Championship on the 9th of the 11th 2024. Bennett will face pressure to bring immediate success to the Bet365 Stadium having stepped up from his previous standing to take sole charge and will need to hit the ground running if he is to win over those who believe his appointment is a questionable decision. Lionel Scaloni was considered to be the favourite for the job, particularly after he was spotted attending an interview with the club, but they ultimately preferred a different candidate. Akintu will now be looking for a new manager. Bennett has earned himself a reputation for signing plays under the age of 23, and appears to be a great fit for the club's current vision at the 365 Stadium. Bennett prefers to use a 4-3-3 narrow formation. Bennett famously knocked out Wrexham of the FA Cup in 2021, will no doubt be hoping to provide similar memorable moments in stepping up to a bigger club. Stoke are on a run of three straight league defeats, and 23rd place in the Scar Bet Championship is not acceptable for a side with their expectations. Oh, so the media prediction is 14th. We've got a three-star reputation. Um, Stoke finished seventh last season. Okay, so um, we enter 
we got knocked out of the first round of the Carabao Cup, which is fine. Uh, 25.6 million transfer budget and £466,000 a week wage budget. That, I can do both for that. I am quite happy to take that on and spend it all. Uh, we can have a look at the squad and see where we need to uh, improve. Uh, and the squad top scorer is Sam Surridge. Uh, the liked, there's a hot prospect, key player. Tommy Smith is the captain. So we'll be able to get some decent players in from, uh, you know, because we're in the championship, we'll get some better players than we would have at Accrington. That's all. Yeah, we know, we know all that. We discussed all that when we was attending the interview. We welcome once again, and we hope this is the start of something special. Yeah, I do hope it's the start of something special too. So, right, Bennett takes the stock hot seat, which we already know. Stock play, right, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, so, look at the finances. How much are we currently spending? We are spending quite a lot of our wage budget already. Yep. Yeah. So that's fine. Minimum guaranteed next season will be 12 million on the wages. So let's have a look at the squad. Let's have a look, see. All right, so we've got two goalkeepers. We've got no one who can score goals. That'll need to be changed. Sam Surridge is pretty decent. He's still young. He's got a slight concern. Unhappy with the amount of playing time. Well, like I said, all this is going to change. I'm going to get the team sorted. And then uh, we can have a look and see what is what. Right, okay, I've uh, sorted my tactics out. I'm keeping the one that's been working well for me at the moment. Uh, it seems to fit in nicely with this team as well. Um, and I've also picked my best 11. So hopefully this should be pretty decent. Um, we'll have to wait and see though, to be honest. But there is some um, areas that do need you know, some new fresh blood. Um, quite possibly a goalkeeper because we've already, it's, a, it's two and a half star goalkeeper so we need something a lot better than that if we are to succeed I mean the potential ability is, he's classed as a fringe player so a goalkeeper is our top priority and obviously we'll get rid of you know ones who we don't need I mean Adam Phillips Um, he used to play for Accrington did we sell him? We did, didn't we? Huh. We're working with Adam Phillips again. I'm pretty sure we did, actually. Let me have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. History. Yeah. So we sold him for a million. And then we brought in Deli Bashiri for a million. Oh, well, that's... Uh, he's probably going to get a bit of a run out. We'll, we'll see. Uh, there is a couple that we can get rid of that we probably do not need um, wage budget-wise as well. We've got £12,000 a week. Um, so, yeah, we need to look for a goalkeeper. So, if I edit the search, drop that to there. And we can see just where we stand. We don't want one on loan. We want a permanent goalkeeper. See, now, there's not that many decent goalkeepers uh, unsure still the same yeah so we need to kind of like get a goalkeeper and fast I think so we'll, we can work on that anyway so let's just advance to the first game um, which is going to be again I mean look at that that's bad that hopefully we'll turn it around it's against Norwich and it is in two days time so let's advance the game and uh Hopefully get off to a winning start, shall we? Okay, so the team selection for our first game as Stoke manager against Norwich is Wallacott in goal with a back four of Tymon, Rose, Kent and Smith. We have Thompson and Atibo in midfield with Sarimiento, I think I've said his name right, supporting Lavery, Kamara and Surridge. Now, it's a pretty strong team and hopefully we'll get off to a winning start and solidify ourselves as the perfect candidate to take over a stalk. Bearing in mind, we've just nearly 
increased our wage tenfold. And I was only looking at a potential double in my wage. So hopefully it's come out to be a wise move. So let's get cracking and see if we can get off to a winning start. All right, here we go. Right, so we are in green. I've got to get used to the uh, colour changes now. I mean, I wasn't at Accrington that long. And I, I was saying when I took the Accrington job that I'd be staying there for a while. But then this, they approached me. They approached me and offered me a wage I could not technically turn down. Let's just hope it doesn't turn around and bat me in the backside. Surridge on the ball now. It whips it across and it's cleared. Oh, see, that's weird. Come on. Get the ball. I mean, I've got to get used to all the, uh, the new players' names and stuff like that, so see who is the best choices and who is, you know, the dead wood, so to speak. Um, there may be a clear out in the summer. We'll have to wait and see. But as it stands, the squad does look pretty decent. Uh, hopefully, they'll uh, do well. Uh, apart from the goalkeeper, that is the an area that we urgently need to improve upon. Definitely. I mean, Luton. Luton are top of the championship. Oh, no, they're not. No, no they're not. It's Sheffield United. No, now no, they're back at top. Make your mind up. That's Smith now on the ball. Now it's Kent. Still Kent. If, if, now it's Sarri, Sarri Miento. I think that's his name, right? Surridge. Sarri Miento. Oh, there's a bit of a scramble going on there. Rolls to Kent. Kent plays Smith in. Smith takes it out wide. Whips in across, Surridge heads it, and it's just over the bar by Sam Surridge. Good effort there, really good effort, but it's not meant to be. I mean, we've got to keep at the bottom of the tip. Oh, zoom in a little bit there, but go. That's better. We've got to um, keep on his toes, I think. I mean, I, I'm not expecting to win against Norwich because Norwich are like in top six. Uh, no, I don't want to zoom out. Oh, there we go. Oh, Rose with the free kick. Sends it oh, just over the bar. Unlucky there by Rose. See, we, we can easily... This is deja vu again. This is the exact same predicament we found ourselves in when we took over at Accrington Stanley. They were in the relegation zone and we got them out. So our past experience of getting teams out of the relegation zone is pretty good. So Thompson now to Itubo. Surridge to Smith. Smith back to Surridge now. It's Surry Mentor who tries his luck and it's saved by the Norwich keeper. I mean, yeah, a couple of wins and we're out of the danger zone. I can't remember what the... I think it's, it's either 40 points or 50 points is the guaranteed safe zone. Um, So we'll aim for 40 points first, try and get 40 points on the board and then we can take it from there, I think. Uh, it has, we have to be, yeah, we do have to be better in front of goal because we've had chances and not capitalised on a single one of them. Smith now on the ball, takes it down the wing, try, finds, tries to find Sarimiento, and gets, but he gets dispossessed. Got to defend this free kick here. Oh, and he does do good safe hands there by Wallacott. See, we are. Evenly matched at the moment. I mean, the team doesn't know a single thing about this formation, so they've got to get used to it. Um, I mean, let's have a look on... Do the corner first, just so I don't mess it up. Oh, beautiful. Michael Rawls, with his first goal of the season, sends his, the fans into raptures there. His first goal for the club as well, making it Norwich nil, Stoke City 1. Look at that, he just rolls up, nods home. See, that's my uh, my tactics coming to fruition. Yeah, I mean, f they're not they're about 50% familiar with this particular formation. So, so I'll give it time and then we'll uh, be fully versed on it. So I'll get rid of that. Don't need to make a substitution yet. But this is a good start we're getting off to here. A really good start. Right, come on. Let's do this, boys. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I had, what, one full season at Accrington? That's all I had at Accrington, one full season. It's Barnet all over again. 
it's near enough exactly the same as what was happening when I was at in uh, season one of the journey when I was at Bradford Park Avenue for a couple of years. Then I went to Barnet. I stayed at Barnet for a season and then moved to Wickham and I was at Wickham for two years. So in theory, I should be at Stoke for two years, but I hope it's more than two years because I don't want to be known as a journeyman manager. I want to be, I want to I stick at a club, but when they offer me that much money, it's, it's a no brainer to take it. I've got quite a lot of money to spend in transfer market. I've got a lot of wage budget. They're giving me more money to, you know, to pay me to do the job. It was a no brainer. A no brainer indeed. I'm going to make a substitution because if they score, I want to be ready straight off the bat. Uh, Rosa can come in, I think. Uh, Surridge is a bit tired. Can he play up front? He's more of a attacking winger. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't play anyone on the left, so he's going to be going. Is he worth any money? Yeah, a fair chunk. He's on twenty grand a week, so he he can go. I'll be looking at offloading the players that do not fit into my tactics uh, in January, I think. So I'll confirm that sub, just the one. Or it's straight into the wall. But nobody there to capitalise on the uh, on the loose ball. Now they have a chance here to bring the tile level, but hopefully we'll, we'll prevent him from doing that. And we won't prevent him because he's just scored his first goal of the season. And that's not what we wanted. Not what we wanted at all. Let's skip this highlight. Yes, I want to proceed with a tactical change. Fire the team up a little bit, I think. Get the ball rolling. Oh, good corner here. Timing to take. Fans Kent. Kent heads it and it's off the bar. And it's cleared upfield. That was a good effort by Kent, that were. Smith now with a throw in. Throws it deep and long to Surridge. But he's, Nyambe couldn't, not Nyambe. Lavery couldn't quite get onto it. Diego Rosa shoots just over the bar, unfortunately. I mean, we, we're still there. I mean, it's 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 his first game. And if we, oh, off the bar and cleared by Surridge. If we can get a good result here, then I'll be happy. If not, then it's fine. Because at the end of the day, this is our first man game as manager of, Nor of Stoke. So, you know, I'm not expecting an absolute demolition job. Time and whips it across to. Oh, it's, oh there it is. S sorry, Mianto. Scores his second of the season and it puts Stork back in front. And it's Norwich 1, Stork City 2. So I'm still getting used to the names of Timon. So he passes it to Kamara, who finds Sarri Mianto. I'm going to change his name. I'm going to change his name. I'm going to do it now. Uh. Where is it? Where's set nickname? Dario. I'm gonna get rid of the I and call him S S Sarimento. Yeah, Sarimento. That's what it can be called. Dario Sarimento. Sorry if you're watching, but it makes it easier for me. And that's what we need. We need it a lot easier. Right. So we need to hold on to this. We've got eight minutes left to play. If we can hold on, that'd be fantastic. Oh, good interception by Smith. Rose hoofs it upfield. But it was uh, no one at the end of it to collect it. Which is fine. We can't have everything. Not yet anyway. Right, so we need to hold off here. Rose now to Smith. Kent chips it upfield, but it doesn't go to its intended target. Oh, and then now it's Timon. Timon who's it upfield to Sarimento. Still Sarimento. Sarimento tries his luck, but the keeper gets down quick enough and it goes out of play for a corner. Uh, so Timon to take the corner. Whips it in. And it's all headed over the bar for a Norwich goal kick. See, this should put us out. Of the, yeah, look, we're out of the relegation zone now. Fantastic. Timon again with the corner. He's taking his time. Kent tries his luck and it's just wind at the post. Good effort. Now we're starting to, you know, show a bit of promise, which is fantastic. 
just what we need, but we don't want to concede. One thing we do not want, and that's to concede. So Tyman manages to collect the loose ball, and he hoofs it upfield, but very poor hoofing. Rose heads it, but it's, again, it's intercepted. We just can't quite get the the ball out of our area, out of our half yet. We're struggling a little bit. Uh, so we need to get it clear. We need to just close them down. Smith clears it upfield. Nobody there to latch onto it, though. And it comes straight back into our half. And we need to just... Oh, Smith heads it clear, but again, not a very good clearance. This is like... Oh, and it's deflected off our defender for another Norwich corner. I need to just, and it's headed over the bar for a goal kick. Sweet. So now we've got two minutes left to hold on for, for our first win. Just get off to a good start. It's what we need against promotion favourites Norwich as well. I do. I might add. Oh, and he's through. He's he's clean through. This is in. Oh, it's chipped just over the bar. But that looks like it's actually in the back of the net there, doesn't it? Hmm, bizarre. All right, just hold, just, just take your time. Take your time for a minute. I want you to take your time now. There we go. Full-time whistle has been blown and it finishes Norwich 1, Stoke City 2. And we start our tenure at Norwich. I keep saying Norwich. We start our tenure at Stoke with three points. Fantastic. Okay, so we will look at coming back uh do 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 yeah we'll do wolves and birmingham because we were going to come back for them two games at accrington at, at the start of december so that's what we'll do we'll come back for wolves and birmingham i think so uh, as you can see I've already done it. I've already changed it. We've got 365 Stadium. It's a pretty... Oh, I'm going out of camera shot here. It's a pretty big stadium. It's a nice looking stadium as well. Um, But it's our new home for the time being. Yep, yeah, I mean... Hopefully it'll be longer than we have had as previous two clubs, but football's a strange game. Someone might come along with a better offer. Uh, If they do, that's fantastic. Uh, but anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, comment down below. Wish me luck in my new job. Also, remember hit that subscribe button and hit the like button as well. All three, much appreciated. And it will also go towards helping the algorithm. Like I said at the start, you help me and that'd be fantastic. And I'll see you all in the next episode. See you later.